This is from Ivy. She sent us an email and the subject of the email was, sorry, Ryland. <laughs> my girlfriend and her cousin seem to think that my shirt is another dress situation. No. See, I blacked out with rage. Can you explain <laughs> one more time? Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. What up? <laughs> uh, we are doing the Barbie episode, which was supposed to be the Halloween episode, but all the costumes came late. So now it's the early Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> and I'm thankful for seeing Jared in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just living the American dream. Oh, my God. Wow. That was incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure God. that you've ever looked better on this podcast. I, I've been looking for a new look for like 30 years now. <laughs> I think I could settle. I could evolve into this. This could be something I'm comfortable going out in public in. Right. And also, you can't wear this and be lazy. No. Like, this isn't just sit in the couch type shit. This no. is some hustling type, you know, outfit treat. Taking so. over the world. Yeah. Always. I like it. It's motivating. Yeah. What would you say Chris's look is? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Like a, a waiter at a fun <laughs> slushy slash a... God, like yes. in a Kai bowl. Uh, he looks like he's starring in Good Burger too. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm the guy who like rollerblades the food out to you at like what yeah. was it? Like Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> you yeah. but in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what am I? For some reason, this like fits weirdly. Like you look good. <laughs> like somehow you make this look good. Wow. Okay, that feels really good. Except for I wish it was coming from someone else. Oh please. <laughs> oh, because I'm Barbie, not because yeah. I'm your husband. Well, that's no. I know it's just my world, and you're all living in it. Sorry, I've gone like nuts though because I'm breathing. Okay. I'm like breathe. <laughs> you know, I'm, <laughs> Okay, we're gonna. You. talk. There has definitely been a leak in Barbie's dream house. Wow. Um, there's a literal yeah. gas leak that started right before we started filming the show, yeah. and the guy is on his way. So at some point, we're gonna have to take a break. He said it's safe that we're sitting in here breathing this. He was throwing out a. It's not gonna kill you, vibe. You know, I don't <laughs> right. know if he was like, yeah, it's perfectly right. fine like for you, but he was like, nah, it's not right. gonna kill you. I, I keep you know? not saying the things that I'm feeling because I know I'm a hypochondriac no, I know, and too. I know I'm just making myself feel things. I'm I like, think... I'm burning and sweating and I'm about to pass out, but that's for yes. sure all in my. <laughs> I'm dizzy. <laughs> Is that dizziness? You, it, it you could be fun. You Google <laughs> the symptoms of breathing in too much gas. You guys are pretty much on par with what it was talking about. <laughs> no, stop it. But, there, oh, no. but, but okay, oh. but here's the thing. Ooh, this okay. might, we just might Ooh, be in a lower stage of exposure right now. There's certain things I'm really looking for to know if we're in a bad spot. Okay. Are if you, gonna... you guys do a, a few different types of things and I see it, we got we got to leave. I mean, I feel like it's already <laughs> altering my speech. That's not one of. I'm not worried that's about not one that. Of them. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that's just you. That's just, <laughs> that's just not you. worried about that at all. That's just a nice I'm a little worried night. about that. The one I'm most concerned about is vomiting. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> I'm serious though. Can you if you. Take a deep breath. It's all I can smell. Well, that also might be the gas leak, but there's also um, a segment later involving some questionable foods, oh, and I oh. think it's that. You're going to make us eat questionable <laughs> foods on top of what's already happened today? <laughs> right. So I wanted to do something kind of fun. Now I'm getting blurry vision. I'm, oh. I'm just reading into it. I'm oh. You're good. I'm not concerned about that. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what made Jared a doctor all of a sudden, <laughs> but I don't know that I'm trusting it the way you're looking hey, in this moment. Hey, <laughs> Don't worry. This is literally, I Googled it. This is literally what I assume the better help doctors look like. <laughs> I've gone through this in the Mojo Dojo. Mojo Dojo Casa House. Okay, what was I going to say? Oh, right, giveaway. Okay, so I have- What? Been, what? A giveaway? Yeah. Hi, Hi Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> nice. Not for you, though. Um, okay, so I'm so excited. I wanted to think of a giveaway because I was like, I've never done, I don't think we've ever done a giveaway. Are you allowed to do a giveaway? Well, we're not going to do it on YouTube. We're doing it on Instagram because- <laughs> I don't know the rules. So <laughs> here's my thought. I was like, what should I give away? What would be fun? And I was like, oh, I should give away like a pair of these headphones. We could all sign them. But then I'm like, nobody wants these shitty ass <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know who makes these. We love them. So I have here a pair of white AirPod Max. Rich. Ooh. He's got money. Ooh. Ooh. Lots? Lots? Sexy. But then I'm like, well, we're not going to sign the actual headphones because like you guys don't want that forever. No, like, they don't like, want to be on a plane with like signatures <laughs> from us. Yeah, a little too much. So then I got these silicone covers that you can put on the headphones. So I thought we could sign those. Nice. So I'm going to throw a Sharpie and a cover and we're just going to sign something. And how do they win this? Oh, so all you have to do is go to the Shane Dawson Podcast Instagram and there'll be a picture there involving these and just give it a like and give it a comment saying your favorite part of the show or no 
your favorite, I don't know. Fuck. Your favorite episode. Oh, and follow the Instagram. Uh, yeah, your favorite <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to do a giveaway. Just say something nice. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Maybe like your best Ken pun. Ooh. That's a good idea. Okay. I kind of took up a lot of the ear. Wow. I guess. Hey. 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 No, 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 no. You deserve the, that whole thing. The three the of us will ear? have the other ear. Yeah, you're. That's kind of degrading. No, it's called the Shane Dawson podcast. Yeah, fit the fuck. Hear everybody. Fit his ear. Well, Listen. I mean, that's the precedent you sent taking up the whole earlobe. You're right. Okay. You're here, acting go, go. like Barbie. Dude. Ken is kind of Barbie. Ken stole the movie. Ken which wants is, to be Barbie. Which is ironic because that movie was all about Barbie and women and Barbie. But then the only thing people talked about that movie was Ken. And, and he annoyed like, the that? shit out of me. And I like Ryan Gosling, but everyone's like, Ken, 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 give Ken a spinoff. I was like, Ken was fucking annoying. Okay, <gasps> you're really channeling Barbie right now? <laughs> and it's scaring me. I just feel like Margot Robbie did not get enough credit for the movie. This is a really bad segue because we're talking about Margot Robbie and women and women's rights. And now we're going right into something that is disgusting. Oh, no. Arguably the second best way to segue. Thank you. The undershoot, the worst way. I right. Say, that, was, that was solid, dude. Thank you. So I was watching this show and uh, something happened that caught my attention. So there was uh, a show about high school and there was a girl and she was known in the high school for giving a guy a Blunkin. A what? <laughs> a blow job while he was taking a shit. How do you know that? <laughs> I what know that was the a Blumpkin. Fuck? I, a Blumpkin. That's just, <laughs> I've known about stand? that since I was young. How? And I don't know how. I think it was <laughs> one of the first things I learned that was like weird as far Have as Have you been requesting act. Blump? What is it? What is a Blumpkin? It's when a girl gives you head while you're sitting on the toilet taking a shit. So you're sitting up, we're going to try it later. You're sitting on the toilet. Uh, for me. me. No. Me. No. <laughs> Absolutely um, not. With those smells? Smelling a different kind of gun. <laughs> um, I've so never wanted to be here less. I'm sitting on a toilet, right? Legs are spread. <laughs> oh, letting the scents fly forward? I'm you sick. I'm, it's more of a waft. It's waft. I'm plopping it in the toilet, right? Right as I plop, you I flush. bust in your mouth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> same, same, same thing. Oh, oh that's, that's a new. Kit. That's new. I didn't know it was about the release, yes. the double release the, mechanism. The Whoa, turn, the that's turn. a sensation we might need. Yeah, do people actually do Blumpkins? I always assumed it was like a joke thing. I mean, no, it's apparently real. we're not sexually adventurous based no. on what the people who call this show. Well, I Googled Speak it for yourself. and <laughs> it's very much a thing. Blumpkins are... <laughs> I, no, 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 no. I've, I, yeah. Blumpkins Sorry. are real. I sound very sexually shameful. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, the Blumpkin community is coming for you. I think your nipple's coming out. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. Oh shit. Yeah. Um, okay, so then it got me thinking, we all have these stories from our high schools where it's like, oh, the kid that was known for this or the kid that was known for that. Most likely it was all rumors and it wasn't even real. See, you just got one. Yeah. And then I was like, this is a good conversation starter because we all have that kid. So Chris, you go first. Whoa, you just triggered a memory. Um, yeah, there was a girl at my school and she was so nice and I don't, no, actually, I don't know if it's true or not, but she was known around school for taking uh, a hot dog uh, that like was defrosting while there were people at her place and like putting it in her vagina and like people called her hot dog girl. That's the kind of sausage party I'm trying to get to. <laughs> Is there something nice I about like a frozen thing kidding. in your vagina? I don't know. I mean, she was, uh, I just felt bad because she was like the nicest human there. and people were so mean to her. And okay. like, I think right. you got to try to spin those things when you're you're in it. But imagine that wasn't what? true at all. And just own just it. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, like, like if that you're weird. that girl, what? you're like, you guys don't stick frozen hot dogs up your pussy. Ooh, turn into a trend. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, if you rock it confidently, then every other girl's like, maybe she's oh on something I'm and not. And her being, her being like, it's in right now. And then the guys are like, <laughs> yeah. She, then she could also just brag and be like, yeah, that's why guys want to date me, you fucking losers. Okay, I'm getting hard. <laughs> As I'm a just saying, man, I can't say it would turn me on if a girl is all like, yeah, sometimes I but stick it, a half frozen sausage. It's not about that. Shoe. It's about how she spins it to gain popularity instead dogs, of shame. Hot dogs are like easily breakable, though. Isn't she worried? It's that frozen, baby. Another thing I assumed was just like a joke. <laughs> I assumed no one really was doing this. Right. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that was something from your high school. Wow, Jared. That is wild that something <laughs> like that starts. Oh, no. man. I don't know if I was even cool enough to know about anything like that. I'm not cool enough. You know, it was really just about people being loose. You know what I mean? <gasps> it wasn't like anything necessarily I could remember about a, a person, but I don't really remember any rumors about people in okay. particular. We had a lot. Of, okay, so I had three different people that I'm thinking of. The first, and these are different categories, really, because I feel like there's a lot of these in different high schools. The first category was the girl that fucks the teachers. So it's like, oh, she's fucking the teachers. And my friend kind of was. <laughs> oh, my God. 
And then he gave her something. What? Oh, Hopefully at least an A. <laughs> <laughs> oh my a passing God. grade <laughs> minimum. <laughs> Well, that was like a Ooh, really good. That was good, Ken. Wow, keep it yeah. up. Second person was uh, the girl who stank. She was the smell, the smelly girl. I mean, that wouldn't be a rumor. You well, would smell her. The rumor was, oh, she fucking uses tuna's deodorant. She fucking never showers. I think she honestly just had like a disease or something, because like she really stank. And I was her like only friend. Did and nobody she tell was a her? Queen. I loved her. Why didn't you just no, be like, hey, girl? Finally, somebody told her, and it was just, literally this is the saddest thing ever. This is so traumatic for her. I hope she's not watching. So <laughs> we would we were sitting in class. Class, and our teacher walked over and whispered in her ear. She looks like sad. She gets up and goes to the office. They made her shower at school because I oh. guess her parents weren't making her shower. The <gasps> teacher had stank to tell really her? bad. It was oh, devastating. Wow. I like so cried. Sad. I cried because I was like kind of friends with the teacher and she was like giving me the tea and I was just like, girl, what? Mm. I was that That's kid. so weird that you were like, I was one fucking with the teachers. <laughs> 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 no, every day during lunch, I would go in. I was that kid, like the sad fat kid. And I would go into the teacher's class and we would just like kiki. Let's have a cheeky. And I still hanging out with my teacher. I know. You know She's you know been to the house. I love her. Uh, okay, the third person, the third kid was the kid who throws up all the time. That's not a rumor. He just did it, like on command. Whoa. Right? On command? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got one. What? I got one. <laughs> uh, I knew a kid, and maybe I've talked about this before, actually, but he could suck air in his butt and yes. fart it out on command. Yes. What? <laughs> Wouldn't his butt need to be exposed? Uh, so or it was like gym no. shorts. No, I just I walked into the room and they were doing it. Uh, uh, it was three three of us having to sleep over at his house, and he was just on all fours. No. And you, you can hear no. it though. <laughs> no. And then it's just blowing out furious. Sorry gas. about being loose. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. That guy was stink? gay. Is he gay now? Uh, no, it didn't stink. It didn't have any like substance to it. it was because just it's air. so quick in and out, and no yeah, leftover. Right. Yeah. Is he gay? Huh. <laughs> it was an interesting situation to be around, you know. Right. It, yeah, but you know. How is that possible? It is. I've seen videos of it. There's like a video, there's a website of girls who do that. They suck up air in their ass and then they fart it out and they go, "Ooh, that was a sharp one." And because it's Ooh. educational, is it allowed on YouTube? Yes. Dude, do you remember cake farts? Yes. You know what I like the most? No. What? I'm about to fart on this cake. Cake fart. What? And then she sits on the cake and then she lifts her asshole open. What? Flats. That cake was farts. when the internet was good. Cake farts was so ahead of its time, dude. Revolution. Two girls, one cup. Shit, so that cake walks. Oh, my oh yeah. God. Cake <laughs> farts. So that cake farts. Is, I think yeah. the gas is getting to me. Yeah. Do you have a cake? Yeah. Are you going to do it? Are you going to fart on that cake? I was just thinking about it. Okay, we'll do that later. We'll do it when the gas guy comes. We'll do it when we do our blumpkins. <laughs> can, you, can you smell this gas? Mr. Gas Man? Um, okay. <laughs> Dude. I want the sorry side note. I want the gas man to have to come in here. Can you I imagine if we interview to, him? I want him to have to see us and be like, "This is what's happening." He'll probably think he's hallucinating. <laughs> he'll be like, what the fuck is this? He'll be oh like, God. "This is what you guys do for a living." <laughs> okay, did you have a kid in school? Uh, probably, but you know my memory. I can't remember the TV show I watched last week, and this gas isn't helping. Okay, right. Let me think about it. Okay, you think about it. Okay. Um, all right, well, we're going to take a quick little break. <laughs> I need to go, uh, Blumpkin. I'm going to run away. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but oh my God. Okay, I have something to tell you guys. Please do not leave. I promise you're not going to want to miss this, because we have a brand new sponsor that has changed my life, and is something I've actually been looking for for 25 years. <laughs> It's skinny pasta. And for the entire bag of this pasta, well, they also have spaghetti, they have fettuccine, they have rice. For this entire bag, nine calories. Nine calories and zero net carbs. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Okay, let me explain. First of all, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, do you wanna work with us? We'll send you some product. And I was like, sure, let me look into this. And I Google it and I'm like, nine calorie pasta? Like what, is that possible? So to me, this was very like fake. I was like, there's no way, it's not gonna be good, but let me try it anyways. And I didn't even wait for them to send it to me because I wanted to try it so bad and I bought some of my own. <laughs> and the next day I opened it up, I heated it all up, I put it with my like stir fry that I post made it and it was so good. It has the same texture as pasta. It soaks up the sauce really nice. Like anything you put on it, it will taste like. And it's nine calories for the whole bag. I think four and a half calories for one serving. I know that people don't like to talk about calories and I get it. I've struggled with my weight forever. I know it could be triggering, but I've been on a health journey lately. <laughs> 
for the last 30 years, but especially the last year, I've been really trying to eat clean and trying to eat less sugar, less carbs. So this came at the perfect time. I literally have already gone through four bags of this in a week. I love it. I'm not just saying that, I love it. Please give it a try. Okay, so let me actually look at what they want me to tell you guys about because all of that was just my feelings. <laughs> okay, the ingredients. It has five all natural ingredients, plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free ingredients. It was designed to mirror the feeling and taste of pasta without all the carbs. Like you empty out this bag and it fills up a plate. Like it makes a pile of pasta, like you're in a fucking cartoon. And then I've just been putting some like low calorie marinara, just like tomato sauce type of stuff on top of that. And then I eat the entire plate of pasta and there's more calories in like one of my water docks. So it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So thank you, It's Skinny, for reaching out and for wanting to work with me. I love you so much. You have saved my dinners, and I think you guys will really like it too. So let me tell you the deal. So all you have to do is go to itsskinny.com and use promo code SHANE25, and you'll save 25% off of your first purchase. That's itsskinny.com, I-T-S-S-K-I-N-N-Y.com, with promo code SHANE25 to save 25% off of your first purchase. Okay, I'm so excited. We have some of the best viewer submissions we've ever gotten. And we have a new segment. Oh, do? there's so much happening. Okay, let me start here. So we got an email. Uh, by the way, if you want to send us an email or a conspiracy or anything, send it to Shane Dawson Podcast stuff at gmail.com. Okay, so the subject of this was husband confessed he was a grower in our wedding vows. <laughs> wow. She, had they not had sex? Okay. We'll get there because I have a question. Okay, so this is from Britt and Josh, and they said, Hey guys, we got married on September 23rd, and my husband mentioned uh, in our wedding vows that he was a grower. <laughs> we love watching the podcast together, and here's a picture of them getting married. Oh my gosh. So I have a question. Me wow. too. So, so cute. <laughs> I have a few. So does she mean he announced it to like everyone? His family and friends, <laughs> or did she not know yet? Like, were they saving themselves? I have a lot of questions for Brittany. And he, <laughs> also, okay, say for example, that me and you were gonna wait till we got married for you to see my grower. If you saw my grower on our wedding night, or like, what would well, you do? But the, I guess the thing would be is like, if you're already hard, I wouldn't know that you're a grower. Right. I'd have to see you soft. So you'd have to be like changing or right. walking around the bedroom naked. Which I never would. <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's maybe that's why interesting maybe yeah. she hasn't seen him not because like if you're already kissing and things are going that way he's already grown growing right. let us know actually don't <laughs> maybe we don't need to know all the details but either way we love it Britt and josh and we're so happy that you guys found each other grower and farmers for life yes um okay this is from zoe she said hey shane i've been a supporter for eight years now oh my god um, eight years. So that was what? Before me. 2015? Yeah. I was already old and burnt out by then. <laughs> Girl, you started watching late. <laughs> I should have started watching in 2010. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> but she wanted to show us that she has her own conspiracy corner in oh her room. Gosh. Look at all the Whoa. conspiracy merch she has. Wow. What? Oh, wow. she's also so cute. I love her hair. <laughs> we love you. Thank you, Zoe. That's the sweetest that thing in the so whole nice. world. Oh, my God. What? Um. Okay. Oh, I love this. This is from <gasps> Misty. She said, hey, guys, my name is Misty. I wore this at work today and everybody loved it Aww. and she's wearing a sorry i zoned out shirt but she clearly works at like an airport or something like she does something serious <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's wearing a pretty important vest that's yeah. iconic I, as yeah fuck. yes wow yeah i love that icon i like it oh i thought this was fun this is from marley she said that she has our number one bearded dragon fan. So, oh, this is gonna spark a lot of controversy in the bearded dragon. Community. What do you mean? I know. I get a lot of emails. We're about starting this. some I'm drama. Just, I know where. Okay. Right. So this is uh, her bearded dragon named Spyro, and here's a picture of the bearded dragon watching Chris. Oh, Spyro's so cute. And watching just different pictures of the podcast. Oh my God. <laughs> are, oh my those gosh, just are those in his tank? Is that a tattoo? Oh, no, that is in his tank. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Wait is he minute. being trained on killing us? <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna hunt us down? He's like, this is, these are the people. Shout Aren't bearded out, dragons Spyro. like, don't wow. they live for like 500 years or something? That is so nice that she gives Spyro that. pictures to look would, at. Don't they? They live for like a hundred. They outlive maybe, their owners. Maybe twenty years. Really? That's it. I don't know. I, Chris, yeah. That's a Googleable thing. I would say how long? I'm Jared curious. was spot on. What? Twenty what? years. They can live up to twenty, yeah. but ten know. to fifteen is common. Okay. Well, Spyro, we're gonna have to meet you before. <laughs> what <is that? laughs> before he dies. Uh, like he's only one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Listen, Spyro we have young. 15 years to meet Spyro. We're going to meet him. <laughs> okay, good. Um, okay, this I'm really excited about. This is literally life-changing if this works. 
So this is from Alex. She said, hey, Shane. Or wait, my name is Emily. Hold on. <laughs> what? Okay, what? I don't know. Alex or Emily, it's one of the two. <laughs> said that they saw an ad that they thought of me for, and it's for people who struggle with misophonia. This is huge. There's a misophonia community. I'm in it. So misophonia, if you don't already know, is the annoyance of sound. You want to die. You want to fucking rip all your fucking face. Shut up. And you're scared to have children one day because you're like, what if their chewing annoys me and then I'm going to be that guy? So that's not happening today because Alex slash Emily sent me a link to something called Calmer Earplugs for Misophonia. Now, for Misophonia? For Misophonia? I know. Wow. So supposedly it blocks out the little noises, but you can still hear like talking. So no I way. have them. I bought them. <gasps> and we have well, a few I crunchy items that we're going to try out. And I'm going to put these in and I'm going to see if they work. This will be a game changer. Wow. And I didn't. So I was like opening wow. baby things today that I had ordered and that was inside of them. And I was like, what are these for my babies? <laughs> well, they are kind of for our babies because hopefully I can wear them with our babies. Oh, I really God. hope these work. That's so Literally, exciting. Maybe I... these chips will make us forget about the gas. Oh my God. They're kettle. You don't like that? No, they're, they're the chewiest. loudest. I love these chips. Carrots. I get the fucking carrots. Get are you kidding me? The baby carrot. Baby carrots are oh. really triggering for me. The snap. Oh! <laughs> now this literally. Now this I'm is why Barbie needs to rule the world. Barbie's been given carrots when the boys get chips. <laughs> Fuck you, Ken. <laughs> Fuck you. Bar Barbie, I wasn't planning that. But Barbie might also want chips. <laughs> uh, okay, don't eat them until I have my plugs in, please. Okay. So this is actually a big deal because these, this disease, which is what I'm calling it, misophonia, fucks, ruins my life. Ruins happy moments in my life. Like we could be having a dinner with the fucking president and it could be the best night ever. And then it, Kamala takes a crunch and I'm fucking ending that bitch. It, it's know, serious. It's put me in some okay. sticky situations. Oh, it's like really deep in there. Can you hear us? I can hear you talking. Okay. Do you want to hear if you can hear us chewing? Okay, here we go. We've been chewing for five minutes. Does it work with a headphone? <laughs> okay, maybe I put oh, them in wrong. Oh no! Hold on, hold on. Maybe I put them in wrong. Um, if that's the okay, case, you need a refund. Oh uh, no! I was so happy for you. All right, keep chewing. Ah! <gasps> oh, it's like worse. Oh, oh it's worse. No. Oh my! What are the reviews on this? Oh. Carrots underrated. I should start grabbing for a carrot. That did not. And oh. here's the thing: like, I don't like to be a bad reviewer, but like, the people should know not to spend their money, right? No, I yeah. agree. I agree. But also, I will say, I saw this shirt. I think I bought it, um, and I just thought it was iconic. It says, uh, "I came, I saw, I heard you chewing." I <laughs> <laughs> did you get it? I did. You should have. Uh, you should have just showed up in it one morning. I know. <laughs> um, okay. Make a better product, whoever made that thank you um okay now let's get into some voicemails <laughs> if you want to call us and leave us a voicemail about anything going on in your life or um if you have misophonia tell me your story we'll give you the numbers right here all right let's get into the first voicemail hi shane uh so i peg my husband and i love it so much but i love it even more when i watch him fuck the dildo suction cup to our dresser, and dresser. I hope I'm not a cock because I could never watch him have sex with like anybody else. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. We first of all, we love you. Iconic. Um, oh yeah. Second of all, wow. I feel like a dresser is dangerous because it could tip over. Is <laughs> Have you seen the no. videos of the dressers? I think he's like backing wall. up into the dresser. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> like Whoa. how I yeah. visioned it, it's oh. like coming like this, and he's just pounding that that yeah. pussy back onto it. That makes sense. <laughs> but wouldn't the drawer be opening and closing? I have a lot of questions about oh. the dresser. Maybe the side of the dresser. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are sexually liberated. Me too. She asked if she's a cuck. Oh sorry. Go ahead. Oh uh, well, I was gonna. No, you go ahead. I was gonna. I was gonna talk about the cuck aspect of it what do you think i i don't know i was go i was gonna ask because in my mind i don't know really i i guess exactly what the definition is but isn't a cuck like specifically another person yeah like, that? like i don't think if you watched someone be banging themselves with a dildo you're a cuck yeah i think it has to involve another human being <laughs> i think she was uh, being having playful. full-blown intercourse with your significant by partner. the way and not to shame the husband because what an icon but it almost this sounds Keep backing like, it up bro <laughs> <laughs> this kind of sounds like one of the high school stories like can you I imagine a guy who used to <laughs> yeah. fuck a dresser and <laughs> to watch. i just right? can't imagine if you like walked in on me in the bedroom just like backing it up onto the dresser <laughs> i mean i basically do when you're like on all fours trying oh to oh my fart. wait what oh 
<laughs> That's a little would... different than sticking my ass into. I mean, no shame, but you were judgmental, Barbie. Oh, wow. <laughs> See? Okay, this is the segue because I do have a new song. We're not changing the song, by the way. We love our Is My Husband Gay song. Let me actually replay it's it. It's iconic. Just, just once again. It kind of applies to this one. Is my husband gay? Is my husband gay? Yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of not sure. Is my okay, so that's obviously the icon. Wow. Yeah, but we yeah. do have a backup submission because this came through on Fiverr. <laughs> And I think this is the same girl that did the uh, Peruvian fact song. <gasps> so here we go. It's just a different vibe. Is my husband gay? What you think you say? I'd love to know if you think so. Is my husband gay? You can't deny that she has a vibe. Oh, oh a fucking and vibe. And it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we love both songs. So we're, yeah. we'll, we'll start, you know, going back and forth. Yeah. Just like your husband on the dresser. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was good. I was a blessing to hear her. No, sing. that is very cool that you guys are so willing to try things out. And I do think it's cool that you get to fuck your man. Why not be the power top every once in a while? <laughs> all right, let me find one that's not sex related because I have been getting some comments from people being like, God, all you guys do is talk about dicks and pussies and, you know, backing it up. So let me try <laughs> to find one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm Ava from Minnesota. Hi. And I was wondering what your best, like, what your best fat person memory is or, like, your best, like, funniest thing that you've done because you're fat. What? Because I have mine. And I was wondering what yours is. Okay. Or like, I'll... <laughs> First, is she gonna first, tell us? first of all, Ava, call back and give us your best fat yeah. memory. Yeah, a little um, disappointed. You can't she just did. tease us like Chris, that. Let me explain, because Chris looks very confused. Not when yeah. I'm hard she's from not, the dildos. She's not talking about her best memory with a fat person, but you can do that. <laughs> she's talking about her best memory as a fat person or a formerly fat person. Okay. So, um, you know, like we've talked about, you know, my well, my worst memory would be uh, getting kicked off a roller coaster for being fat. But what would my best memory be? Oh, I'm interested to hear what you would say. <laughs> I know. I'm like, like, what would the best fat memory be? I think she means like the funniest. Oh, okay, the funniest. I guess I, I've been pretty fat in my life, and uh... <laughs> it's just the serious no, the, thinking. It's the silence. Well, thing. I was. We we had we had uh, like a little uh, niece or ne nephew at the house not too long ago, like a little four or five year old girl. Okay. And I was showing her the fish tank and I lifted up my arms to put some fish oh, tank and no. she goes, I see your belly. <laughs> that was kind of like, okay. I, I guess that couldn't happen unless I was kind of fat, but oh. Oh, I feel like they're all going to be sad. This seems bad. Yeah, they're all sad. I was going to talk about getting pants. <laughs> that's to be not funny. Good, no. though. <laughs> Best memory? Like, okay, okay. I got one, kind of, but not really. Have I talked about this before? Um, there was a moment in like middle school where my guy friends would ask to grab my titties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? Was that like a highlight for you? Um, when being was the fat. bye coming through? That was, that, was the best. that was the original question. Yeah, maybe this is traumatic. Is that actually. when you realized you were bi? But uh, yeah, they were just like kind of curious because my big old titties were just always out. Oh. <laughs> so it's just like, I'm just like, oh my god. I mean, oh I, my god, this I, is what a boob feels like. Maybe um, I, maybe that's not a good memory. <laughs> now that I think about it, seems probably you know, yeah, you know. I thought it was funny. To I'm each his sorry. own. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ava, <laughs> for bringing yeah. up these very dark, dark, <laughs> dark moments from our lives. Chris, okay, let's mix make this happy. Chris, what's your favorite fat person memory? <laughs> I have like a a, a funny like kind of like very PG like version of, of one of these where it's like when I was younger I was snowboarding I was trying to learn how to snowboard and we were at like I think it's mountain high is that the close one where it's like I don't go anywhere oh okay well I think that's the closer <laughs> it's not like Big Bear or one of the further ones it's the closest one and it like it was like starting to get hot and there was not a lot of snow left and it was like all ice so if you like fell and hit your head on that it's serious it's like hitting cement I'm like so when it's excited just ice. to see where this goes so I can't wait I was like trying to learn and I wasn't doing a good job and I went way too fast and I didn't know how to stop and there was, it just became all ice and I was like if I fall right now I'm dead I'm going so fast and I like my something hit my board and I got stuck and I flew forward and I was like I'm dead I don't have a helmet on I'm gonna hit my head I'm dead and I swear to you this big dude <laughs> fell down in front of me and I like landed so softly and cushioned like on him and then I <laughs> like saved my life from breaking my head open and then I got up and I was like I'm so sorry and the guy was like nah bro it's all good 
then he like patted his belly, and then like we laughed and we like talked for the next ten minutes. And Seems like so this sweet. is gonna be traumatic for him. If I was telling this story. <laughs> I think Hold we on. talked. How he was old like, were you? I was like pretty. I was like middle school or something. Dude, I actually Hold think on. that we just found the catalyst for why Chris is into big guys. Oh, they saved his because life. Because one saved your life, <laughs> and you forever complex. will look at them as like your rock. You I'm, know, <laughs> or their his oh. cushion. That guy oh. changed your, the whole course of your life, dude. <laughs> Maybe. It's an important fat moment. <laughs> but maybe that is where it came from. I think it is. That's sweet. <laughs> um, okay, I love that. Thank you so much, Ava, for bringing up trauma and also, you know, figuring out the, the, the past. <laughs> this segment, <laughs> always something. It always is. <laughs> um, okay, this is something fun that I wanted to try. And I want to also do this on our audio-only podcast. Um, but this is fights with Shane and Rylan. <sighs> so here's what I did. I asked you guys to send me some voicemails of your fights with your significant other, and we, but also you guys, are going to uh, referee it and decide whose side we're on mm. with this fight. Mm. I love this. Okay, are you ready? This always helps a fight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> An outside opinion. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the best. All right, here we go. Hey, Shane. Hey, Rylan. Hey, everybody. Um, so me and my boyfriend had a fight last week because... He was going to the store and I was like, you know what, I'll stay home because I want to take a nap, you know. And he was like, do you want anything from the store? And I was like, no, you know, that's just something you say, expecting something back. And he didn't bring me anything back. I got mad. I cried. And he just said, you said you didn't want anything. And on top of all of that, he didn't go back to the store and give me anything. Girl, okay, he should have opened that mad. Postmates app. Am I in the wrong? Okay, first of all, wow. I get it. That, I oh, yeah. get it. You're in the wrong, but I am you. So, <laughs> like, I'm not opposed to, like, asking for something later that I never asked for before. And sometimes it's just a cry for attention. You want to know that you're loved. Here's the thing. He is slightly in the wrong because by now he should know. Because with what we do, when I order something, like food or something or drink, and if you're like, I don't want anything, I always get you something. Always. I know exactly what to get you and then I get you and when it comes, you're like, oh, I'm so hungry and you eat it. And I'm like, wow, interesting because you said you didn't want it. God, you're such a bitch. <laughs> uh, Jared? Oh, this is very familiar for me. <laughs> it's like a Reese's Pieces or something like that yes. is typically the scenario. Ooh. I think uh, the the beautiful part about being in a relationship is being with someone who knows you and gets you. And I think the moments like that that you just missed of them not bringing you back what you felt they knew you wanted. I mean, I get why it would frustrate you. And then after you said something, here's the thing. Ooh. If they offered to go to the store and you said no, don't go to the store. Yeah. Then it's kind of on you. you well, know we what know I mean? that, but us yeah. women but, just want to be thought of. <laughs> I know. I get it. But like, you know, sometimes we just want to be told exactly what you want to. No, you know obviously I mean? she's in the wrong. I just, I, I, I identify with you. In my current relationship, it's the exact opposite. Oh. Yeah. I go to the store often and like, it's, it's been long enough now that I know what to get. Like there are just things I will just get that I know he likes. Um, but if I don't, even if I call and say like, hey, I'm headed to the store, would you like anything? And he's like, no, I'm okay, thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. And then I come back, he's like, you didn't get me anything? I'm like, I literally called you. <laughs> like that drives me insane. So, so you don't get anything. I feel like she's in the wrong. And Shane's the opposite. He asks for things and I still don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But, like I'll go to I, Disneyland. He's like, please get me these ears. I'm like, you got it. Come home empty handed. Uh, Nothing. I, I think it's like, I just think it's like bad communication. Like just say what you want. Just be an adult about this. It kind of drives me insane, honestly. But Ooh. I do understand that like, yeah, you can, you learn your partner and that's sweet. And you can just stop a fight from happening yeah. by just doing it. But like, and eventually also, they can communicate better. Yeah. And if she was actually crying over this, there's something deeper going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to get to the root of why you're actually mad at this motherfucker. Yeah. And I'll come I'll come at him with you. All right, let's do one more fight. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this counts as like a fight necessarily, but my husband will not stop. He pronounces words absolutely wrong. And one of them that I can think of off the top of my head is accurate. He says accurate. <laughs> Tell me it's not accurate. Like it's accurate, not accurate. I like this how that sounds. This man got me all types of fucked up. So <laughs> Jared and Shane have a few of these. Okay, you, me, oh. <laughs> you, you literally. Why don't you guys say supposedly? You are gas leaking Why don't you guys all the say time? supposedly to me? Supposedly. No, you guys say supposedly. No, I don't. You literally not just say words. By the way, when you did that, it was like DJ Barbie. <laughs> you. <laughs>
<laughs> you don't just say words wrong. You say the wrong word. So? For everything. What was the one that was, re- what was the one recently that was so crazy? Shut up, Ken. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Okay, moving on. No, there was one recently that was so fucking what? nuts that I had to just call you out. Because I here's the thing. I never call you out on it because I, I know what you mean. And yeah. it is annoying. Like, Lizzie does this to you a lot. It is I get it, that it's annoying when you call somebody out. You know what they mean, blah, blah, blah. No, if you tell me once, that's fine. And if I didn't take it into consideration, never do. then that's on me. Right. And so stop reminding me because obviously I didn't like your suggestion. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. okay. I can't really think on the spot of words that you say wrong. None. Or no, no, no. Well, this isn't your fault. This is probably a Colorado in Coloradan thing. But you say uh, when you're when you eat too much, you get full. Li- Lizzie all the time says, "Here's the dill." Yeah, like I say, D. She says, "I say like D I L L or D E A L." No, it's uh, well, it's supposed to be dill, deal, and she says, "I you, say, you dill. say dill." Mountains. Mountain. It's like a Colorado, Utah thing, though. That's more of an accent thing than saying things wrong. Right. It's like, because I was born in Utah. But here's what I would say. I would say, just let them say whatever they want to say and just ignore it. Although, now that we're having kids, I don't want our kids to be stupid. <laughs> you do homework with them. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want our kids to be like... I don't think it makes it stupid. <laughs> Accurate's not an easy word to even think Accurate. of. You know, that's a smart word. Accurate. Accurate. To fight. <sighs> what? <laughs> I don't want our kids to be stupid. Well, no, I don't Do you hear it. what that implies? That your husband's <laughs> stupid? Oh. No, it's not that you're stupid. It's, <laughs> it's not that you're stupid. It's a, I don't want them to go to school and start saying your dumb words. And, <laughs> and then the teachers are like, Ooh, well, then you kids. be involved. You be there all the time. Then. I know. So what I'm saying is I need to start now. I'm going to start correcting you now. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I think it lived up to the name. It really Wait, did. So what you... was our advice? Just and oh, those were... with it. <laughs> and you know what? I liked it. Th- those were like pretty minor fights. Those are fun. Do you know what I mean? Those are fun fights. Those are fun. Yeah. If you guys have any fights, keep them under like a minute long. If you have any fights, maybe get a little crazier with these fights. Send them in and uh, we will referee. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but really quick, I just want to give some love to one of my favorite sponsors ever, Buffy. So if you don't already know, which I can't imagine you don't because I have talked about them for a year and a half now, Buffy makes award-winning bedding that's soft on you and soft on the earth. And my favorite thing they make is their Breeze collection, which has saved my bed from molding. (laughs) The amount of sweat that I have every night because I'm a hot sleeper, it's a lot. But because of the Breeze sheet set and the Breeze comforter and the Breeze pillow, I'm no longer a sweaty sleeper and uh, Rylan doesn't want to divorce me. So it's great. So if you haven't tried the Breeze collection, please check it out, especially the Breeze sheet set. I love it so much. It'll keep you cool. Also the Breeze comforter, which is incredible. It's like puffy and big, but it's not like hot. It doesn't weigh you down and you don't want to rip it off halfway through the night because you're sweating. It's incredible. Buffy also offers you a free seven night at home trial so you can experience Buffy before committing to buying it. Shipping is free and customers also enjoy a hundred night free return policy. So if you haven't checked them out yet, please give it a try. I promise you will not regret it. Go to Buffy.co, not .com, .co and enter code FARMER at checkout to get 25% off of your order. That's Buffy.co, enter code FARMER and get 25% off of your purchase. So thank you so much Buffy for being one of my most loyal sponsors and my first sponsor ever. I just love you guys so much and I love your betting so thank you so much. All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Are we ready for the game? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so this game is called Hi Barbie, Bye Barbie. All right, we'll go through this really fast. So I went on Instagram and I said, hey, give me some things, movies, places, foods, things, whatever. Uh, And we are going to say whether we like them, Hi Barbie, or whether we're done with them, Bye Barbie. (laughs) So I'm going to say a word, and then all of us at the same time say what we think. Ready? I love these segments. Mushrooms. Bye, Bye, Barbie. Bye, Barbie. Maybe we say it one by one. Yeah. Okay, how about it starts with Shane and goes clockwise? Okay, we'll go fast. Ready? Mushrooms. Bye, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Bye, Barbie. Okay, interesting. You guys are mushroom boys. I guess I already knew that. Says everything I need to know. (laughs) Okay, this one's a little harder. Mayonnaise. Hi, Barbie. Bye, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Whatever, Barbie. You can't do that. Uh, I mean, but sometimes yes, sometimes no. No, Barbie, it's one or the other. Okay, then hi, Barbie. (laughs) Okay, good. I love mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. You don't like mayonnaise. No. The more I'm I'm thinking about it. I'll throw up if I taste it. Well, like, 
in tuna fish sandwiches. I love it so much. In Europe, it's commonplace to eat french fries with mayonnaise instead of ketchup. And I did that here and all my friends were like, you're well, insane. And they were so I, mad. In but Utah, like, fry sauce is ketchup combined with mayo. It's so yeah. good. Fry Have you sauce. tried it? Mayonnaise? Yeah. I literally used to dip white Wonder Bread in mayonnaise. Oh, I would make yuck. mayonnaise like yuck. quesadillas. <laughs> yes. Mm. I'm here okay, for what's it. the next one? <laughs> this one's controversial. Okay. Right. okay. Please don't hate us in the comments. <laughs> or some of us. Ready? Harry Potter. Bye, Barbie. Bye, Barbie. How dare you? Hi, Barbie. <laughs> I like the ride at Universal. Oh my God, wait, me too. Hi, Barbie. That's, no, you can't uh, do that. Bye, Barbie. Okay, here's the thing. Actually, no, I want, I asked Ooh, you to- Ooh, and butterbeer. <sighs> Ooh, no, never mind. No, I don't Hi, like butter beer. I asked you to start it with me from the beginning. I've tried so many times, yeah. but the ride is iconic and so is butterbeer. So I'm back in the middle. Maybe I'm just traumatized because when I was in high school, my friend's dad would drop us off at the theater to see it and be like, are you guys gay? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, oh yeah. my God, wait, yes. All the people I know who love Harry Potter are gay. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Men and women. Actually, yeah, the dad was like, <laughs> God, this is pretty fucking and then, gay. Isn't J.K. Rowling people's? I don't remember what she did, but people are saying she's oh, like she's homophobic, a trans transphobic stuff. But she's writing stuff for gay people. It's all confusing, guys. <laughs> Sandy <laughs> recently tried to get me to watch the Harry Potter series, and I said I can't do no, it. In case enough. you're wondering, I, the Hufflepuff. I, I did a few Twilights. Wondering. That's all I could do. We were all wondering. I was literally sitting here going, <laughs> if he doesn't say what house he's in, <laughs> you're such a Huffle. <laughs> Slytherin. Oh, Slytherin. fuck you. <laughs> Why? Because I can Gryffindor. stand up for myself? Gryffindor. I think Gryffindor. Nice. Gryffindor? Yeah. We're, door, we're Griffins, babe. Yeah. Um, okay. I called my brother, babe. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, spe okay. This one. We'll, sorry. We'll be faster. Uh, oh, no, fuck. We're having fun. Um, okay. Star Wars. Oh, this is going to be. Okay. I'm going to cry. Bye, Barbie. No, shit. Oh, no. Bye. I love Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> you're so so bye Barbie, but, but Jar Jar's on my list. I've never even seen a bye Ooh. Barbie. Hi Barbie with every fiber of my being. Wow. <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, I loved them. I haven't watched them as an adult, so I can't right. say <gasps> bye because I, I don't feel know. like those would hold up to bye watch Barbie. when you're an adult. So, yeah. I just can't watch movies that aren't realistic. Interesting. This one is also controversial because you're married to one. Disney adults. This is new for me. Hi Barbie. <gasps> Hi Barbie. You're saying, uh, well, <laughs> how about this? For myself personally, no, that's why I don't have a pass. So I'm, I'm like, uh, bye, Barbie. For myself personally, hi, <laughs> Barbie for Sandy. Uh, right, right, right. Okay. Hi, Barbie. Okay. Yeah, hi, Barbie. Okay, here's the thing. I used to be really judgy of Disney adults, like really judgy. I would like be like, oh my God, this is so weird. Even in high school, like my friends in high school would be going to Disneyland every week and I'd be like, what are and they And then doing? what? Like, you went to adults. Casa Bonita <laughs> once and everything changed? <laughs> no, I start. sorry, I'm applying my class. I started watching um, Disney vloggers a few years ago and I got really into it. And then I started thinking, if I'm a Disney hater, why am I watching Disney vlogs? Maybe I'm just jealous of the people who can go to Disney and have fun as adults when I'm over here watching on my couch. I'm such a pathetic fat fuck. It's like people that are able to eat vegetables as snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know? Hi, yeah. Barbie. I don't get it. I don't either. But good for you. But exactly. So, and now my favorite YouTubers of all time, Ordinary Adventures, they need to come on the podcast. Um, I love them. They're Disney adults yeah. and they love Star Wars and Harry Potter, all the things I hate. And I love them. So here's what I'm thinking. This is my new life now. And then I didn't know you were married to a Disney adult. How did I not know that? I don't know. <laughs> she Andy, tells everybody. Has she, she asks everybody. Been a Disney she adult? she, she grew up. I'm sorry, I needed a carrot. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Has she always been one? Well, she grew up in the same city that Disneyland is in, pretty much. So oh. uh, yeah, it's huh. been like part of her yeah. history. You know, right. she loves Disneyland. She likes the whole experience. Wow. So, um, okay, our very last one. And this one was very specific, and I don't know if this is a TikTok trend, but it goes really well with what we were talking about earlier. Mm. Putting ice cubes in your ass. Hey, I can say as somebody who's done this multiple times. Why? Multiple? When I had my fissure. Oh. When I had an in, inside hemorrhoid. Oh. The only thing that works sometimes is shoving it. Not a full big ice cube, a little yeah. bit of the crushed ice. Sure. Is there a mold for an <laughs> ass cube? <laughs> yes. It Technically, it's for water bottles. Like an enema cube? But it would be perfect for, for your ass. Huh. Um, feels great. Okay, hammer The melting story? is a little drippy drip. It's a little weird. <laughs> a little little wet diaper. By the way, we fell down a rabbit hole the other night oh. of adults who wear diapers <laughs> and use them. No judgment. But it was interesting. And the video we clicked on, the girl or guy, I don't remember, but was like what doing reviews of diapers. And then she shit and you saw the diaper fill. 
and then we were out. There was a ter- like terminology for wow. it too. Is this like yeah. just people like who use depends who need it, or like is this no. like no. a kink? I don't know if it's a kink. Or I don't know. I don't not, know the right word. They're not jerking off while they're shitting in their diet. They're not having a blumpkin. But they don't no, need it. No, it doesn't sound blumpkin <laughs> I mean, they are promoting their OnlyFans. Which <laughs> right. feels right. pretty oh, sexual to oh, me. Yeah, this is a kink for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You know? Anyways. What, what was the question? <laughs> Ice cubes. Oh, in your, uh, in your I don't ass. know, but that's interesting. You know? I'm, I will say, though, a uh, life hack, a neck pillow for a plane. Okay. Also doubles as a hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid donut because yeah. on the flight back I recently took, uh, I, I I had a pretty bad one mm. and I took it off of my neck and I sat on it, boom, right on. But did wow. you use it as a neck pillow after? No, it's become <laughs> more of a dog pillow uh, than anything. Uh, well, there you guys go. Hopefully, you enjoyed our hi Barbies, uh, bye Barbies. Let us Chris know. Chris and I never did it. Uh, ice cubes in your ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, Chris. <laughs> Um, I'm, I have a very sensitive to hot and cold asshole, so I'm going to say bye, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried it, but okay. I can't hate on what I haven't tried, so I'll say hi, Barbie. How do you know? Well, like, there are lubes that are supposed to be, like, warming sensations that I've tried, Ooh. and it just, like, hurt. <laughs> like, it, yeah. it didn't react well to it. I don't know. Maybe that's different. Did you have open right. cuts? No. <laughs> <laughs> got a sensitive booty hole. I, I tried hand sanitizer, and it felt weird. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed our Hi Barbies, Bye Barbies. Let us know in the comments uh, which ones you were saying hi or bye to. Okay, this is a video I found, and I just had to show you guys this because this shook my fucking brain. Are you ready for this? All right. Oh, yeah. My friends, this is a pumpkin swirl frozen coffee. Who the f- thought it was a good idea to put this on the menu because this drink has 185 oh. grams of sugar. Ooh. How much is it? I'll tell you no, it's good. It's this much. It's four <laughs> of sugar. To give you another perspective, the amount of sugar in there is equal to 14 <laughs> glazed That's insane. Donuts. What? Plus, there's no pumpkin in here. It's artificial what? flavors. There's 12 mentions of sugar. What? Corn syrup in here. There's 930. Oh my God. Are they canceled? 194 carbs? Thirds of us are already type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic. If America runs on this... Okay, putting me on blast. <laughs> um, oh, It is a lot God. of shit. That's crazy. Bring him out! <laughs> <laughs> no! I had to try it. I had to try it, baby. When I saw this going viral, I was like, okay, but this just sold me one. I really, <laughs> I really try... Jared's not even waiting <laughs> for even... us. He never Wait, does. Wait, hi, Barbie, you're my party. <laughs> Uh, the thing is, I try not to like drink my calories Ooh, because I beautiful. you can't really tell what's in shit like this. Right well, now you know. So this is probably the most unhealthy drink ever made. So let's see. It is Friday night. How it tastes? That's major. This could be the last meal we have. Three. Two. I bet it's amazing. I mean, okay, I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but it's not sweet enough. <laughs> Isn't that crazy that it I would- like, It tastes too much like coffee. Well, it's sweet. I love it. But the thing is, you wouldn't think that it's sweeter than a whole dozen of donuts. No. In, Jared's like done with it. <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely not. But uh, it's like a little frozen, but it's good. But if I were thinking I'm going to sacrifice 150 grams of sugar, this right. would be awesome. How many Weight Watcher points do you think that is? This is delicious. Oh, dude, this is like a week's worth of food. Whoa. But this you, is bad. This is so good. You, you like it? It's <laughs> so good. Gosh, you'd be sick, but It's it not bad. It's, to me, it's just a little bitter. It's not sweet mm. enough. I'd say double that sugar. See, I feel like it's a little too sweet. Get but the straw I, to the oh. bottom. I think because some of it's frozen. Oh, okay. The good good's at the yeah. bottom. Well, okay, so, here, so here's the other thing I wanted to try. So Ice Spice has her new Dunkin' Munchkins drink. And it's nice. And just, supposedly, and no shade to, to Ice Spice. Please come on the show. We love you. Come on the show. <laughs> Share notes all your that, that's what That's what the hemorrhoid cream should be called. The ice. It's, oh, just use Ice Spice. <laughs> so this was 180 <laughs> grams of sugar? For your butt. Maybe you could teach yeah. her her own songs, Jared. So, so a liter of cola is 95 grams of sugar. Wow. <laughs> a liter. So is this drink as unhealthy okay. as what we just So consumed? I don't know about the health, but this is kind of going viral because people are saying it's so gross. Because what they did was they took Dunkin' Munchkins, which are like donut Ooh. balls, and they blended it in. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I'm we excited. only have two of these. So I'm, we're going to have to try one and then pass it to you. Is it good I enough? Know. Or is it da da da? Wait, is that who it is? Yeah, da 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 da. Oh, I know. <laughs> What's that? She's like, da da da. <laughs> you know, from that, I know who it is. You know, it tastes just like a donut hole. It does? 
Please don't yeah, spill that on the rug. Can, we can pass this around. It's I weird, like it. right? I didn't it, like it at first. It's not bad. It's better than the pumpkin thing. It's interesting that nobody. What? What? Oh. Take a see. Whoa. I know. It tastes like a donut. It it's yeah. like it's like her music. It's like at first yeah. you hear it and you're like, oh, oh, I'm too old. I don't know. And then you're like, and then you're like, oh yeah. Yeah. I like the pumpkin better. Interesting. I've wow. never had a, a drink battle. like this. It really is a blended donut. If yeah. anyone knows blended drinks out of us, it looks like Chris. <laughs> Chris looks like he knows blended drinks. Well, speaking of pumpkin spice, wow. this is um I hate it. Questionable, and I don't think we're gonna be able to try it because I, I honestly think we will die. I but, will kill okay. you. The pumpkin spice spam came. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How old is it? Okay, so the pumpkin spice spam. Uh, is expired. No, August 2022. No, <laughs> but here's what I'm thinking. Isn't That's it, just a suggestion. This is right. This is like end of the world type of shit, right? Like spam is like lasts forever, right? We should at least open it up. So that's I mean, what we, we said that about Twinkies, right? <laughs> Oh my god! That's like what we have in 2032 when we like have access to nothing, but it's fall. Oh, dude, I can't even look at it. Okay, it, it looks. Oh no! Is this supposed That's to be that color? Not what it's supposed dude, to look I just like at all. all. And saw that guy ah! looking at me. There's a mold like growing in this. Ugh. It looks bad. Hold on, let me see if this is about the. Oh, is a gas guy here? Hello. Okay, big update before we get into conspiracy corner. The gas leak is fixed. It's good. <laughs> Suppo supposedly. Supposedly. We'll see. I do wish we asked him, had the courage to ask him to come inside. Wouldn't it have been fun to have like a random guest? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> okay, so this is from Ivy. She sent us an email and the subject of the email was, sorry, Ryland. <laughs> Thank God he's not here. <laughs> Currently, I'm on vacation oh, with my no. girlfriend's uh, family, and my girlfriend and her cousin seem to think that my shirt is another dress situation. No. So the girlfriend thinks that it's orange, but her sister and her think that it's red. She said it's obviously a red shirt, and they're wrong. I want to know what Ryland thinks. All right, so let's so see. I blacked out with rage. Can you explain <laughs> one more time? Okay, so what color is Ivy's shirt? I don't even want to look. Ryland. I mean, this one's hard. Like, it's like... Wait, what? What were the options? It's like orange a red with a slightly lighter red. red. Oh, but orange and red are so close. Yeah, it could be either. I see, I see red. I see red. Really? I see like a blood orange. I, I see more orange than anything, but it could be either. Like, I see so blood close. orange with like red stripes. <laughs> blood orange is more red than orange though, I think. Yeah, blood is in the title. And but it's, it's before but the But it's orange. still orange. <laughs> Whatever you guys want. Honestly, <laughs> Whatever you guys want. I'm like so easy well, going this? and chill. <laughs> um, okay, well we all see red and some of us, the wrong ones, see orange. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a video I found that it's not really a conspiracy, but well, you'll see. This creepy phenomenon called the Thatcher effect. It happens because our brains can't really process faces when they're upside down. So the pictures that are popping up on the screen right now might look normal. But go ahead and watch this video again with your phone upside down and you'll see what I mean. Ready? So I'm gonna play the video upside down. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Isn't that crazy? Elon Musk looks exactly this. <laughs> Kanye looks <laughs> nuts. Whoa. Okay, Wait, so she facetuned to fuck them up? All those photos are terrifying except for Elon Musk who looked identical. Right. <laughs> well, he has an upside down smile. Am I stupid? <laughs> okay, uh, Ryland, okay, let me explain. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> okay, so the original video, right? That's, okay. that's normal side up. She fucked him up. The faces on those are upside down. But when you saw it, didn't it look normal to you? It just, you were like, oh, it's upside down. But then when you actually flip it upside down, it looks like that. You didn't get it, huh? It's I still don't get it. Okay. Your brain can't process looking at faces upside down for whatever reason. So, like, what you're looking at right now is the image, but when it's upside down, your brain sees it as normal. As normal. Okay. Yeah. I've arrived. <laughs> um, okay. So, this is about toys. So, I'm so mad because I bought a video Barbie literally a year ago, and it was supposed to be here. It still has not come. But have you heard of video Barbie? No. So Video Barbie is a banned Barbie. They mentioned it in the Barbie movie for a second, but it's a Barbie that has a video camera 
in its chest. What? And then on Barbie's back, you can watch the, the screen. Oh, what? But then they found out that bad people <gasps> were accessing it and watching kids filming oh, them. Oh, no. Yeah, like scary. And this they were, sounds oh like a recipe God. for disaster to yeah. me. So they didn't think, Barbie didn't think I that one through. Yeah. <laughs> So that Barbie's not here yet. I wanted to film part of the podcast with that Barbie. We don't have it. Uh, but I did find this. This was sent to me by Cindy. And I actually think this is Cindy in the video. I'm actually not sure. Is this Cindy or is this a viral TikTok? I don't know. Uh, it says, I'm a new mom and I, oh, this is her. It says, I'm a new mom and I bought my little boy this toy that sings. Am I crazy or does it sound like it's saying kill? Okay, so here is the video. Okay, so I bought my kid this toy and I need to know if I'm totally bugging out or not. Basically, it looks like an ordinary walker, right? You can change the settings. Oh, we need to get one of those. <laughs> but when you press one of these buttons, I swear, just listen. <laughs> I heard it. Like, am I fully tripping out or does that say kill? <laughs> like what? Okay. What's it supposed yeah, to be? I love the editing in this video <laughs> that you did for this. I have, this is great. I have, for, first of all, I heard kill. Second of all, yes. is this her, the Cindy? Cindy. What else could it be? <laughs> oh, it definitely said kill. Like, right? That's what it's like. Said. What's the other option? Yeah, what's it supposed I don't to be? Know. All I heard was kill. Me too. You're shaking me to my core, mama. <laughs> That's what you wanted. You're giving me what you want. Wow. <laughs> anyway, Cindy, send us more conspiracies because we love you. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, this is going to shake you to your core too. God, I'm really shaking you to your <laughs> Here we go. Hi, important question. Do you have a bump on the roof of your mouth? Only 30% of people have that. What? Okay, like mine looks like this one, but I guess Whoa. you can the bottom of your mouth, top. Do you Whoa. have one? My whole life is I don't have that. I don't have that either. I don't have it. What? Do you have a bump in the roof of your mouth? A slight one. I can feel it with my tongue. <gasps> Take a picture of it. Whoa. Take a picture of it. I mean, it's slight. If they said 30%, so that would 25% of the <laughs> math ain't math. That math ain't math. You know, <laughs> only a certain amount of the population can do this. Oh, the, whoa. So not just the taco, but that's a... Four, three leaf clover. Because I can do just the taco, but yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I eat, look eat. awful. <laughs> Did you take a picture I'm of your mouth? I'm crying. Oh my God. Take a mouthie. <laughs> Wait, how do you do that? <laughs> oh my God, I hate this. It's one of those things gross. where if you can't do it, you can't do Did it. Did you get it? <gasps> Did you, you censored your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> do you see what? it? I do kind of see it. I see it. Yeah. Oh my God, you're one of like them. It looks like a demon inside of you. <laughs> yeah. It does. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it goes down a little. Whoa. Whoa what is wow. that? Wait, yours is just flat. An arch. Mm-hmm. Like a perfect arch. <laughs> yeah. No bumps, no lumps. <laughs> um, okay, wow, that was crazy. I can't believe it. Guys, let us know in the comments. Do you have a bump in your mouth? Wow, these comments are going to be crazy today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Ooh, Jared, this is for you. You wear glasses. I do. Have you heard? This so do I. This isn't even a conspiracy. This is just true. Pretty much all glasses are made by the same company. Yeah. I'm talking like $800 My Gucci glasses. My out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking Android dollar Gucci glasses. I'm talking two dollar dollar store glasses. They are all made by the same company. So there's a company um, called Luxotica Frames. This yes. company owns and makes Armani, Chanel, Burberry, Tiffany's, Lens Crafters, uh, Sears, Target. So they make literally anything in any product in any range. And the markups for some of their glasses are a thousand percent. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Is it oh, just yeah. the frames or the lenses? <laughs> or both? <laughs> the frames. Oh. That's crazy. They and have like a monopoly. I on think it costs like a, wig. a couple dollars to make a pair of glasses. Barbie yes. is going downhill from like, here. For, for reference, I just got new glasses and I got like a pair of Ray Ban sunglasses all in with prescriptions. It was like 300 bucks. Oh, so the. Wow. But that's why, like. They do the uh, the eye exam for free, all that, because there's so much damn money on right. the lenses. So oh, that's right. where the profit is. Yeah. So this guy literally bought up all the glasses companies, and now he just makes them himself. So it's like, I mean, not himself. It's a monopoly. Literally. Isn't that illegal? That's what they get <laughs> like, real uh, mad about. That's what you would think. I don't understand, because monopolies are supposedly illegal, well, but then like Disney definitely has a monopoly on movies. Everything is. And, like, like everyone that's super so successful many. is, it's, right? It's also because most people have insurance that covers uh, vision, or a lot of people do. Mm. 
anything that's insurance based, the prices are usually fucking skyrocketed because right. insurance is paying it. You know what wow. I mean? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. That so is now crazy. what am I going to yeah. do? I mean, I, got I ripped off. I love sunglasses, but now it's like, should I just get, be getting dollar store glasses? Are I mean, they literally it, the same? It's yeah, kind of you the, have to. If over the not years that we've learned that with everything, with jeans, like with food, with clothes, and food. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Barbie. I told you. But, um, okay, this is really stupid, but I just had to show it anyways. This is from Kimmy. She said, this shook me. So let me show you this. The blue stripes are all parallel. You're a liar. <laughs> Right. You know what? You could actually see it if you blur your eyes. If you blur your eyes, at one point they just all go parallel to each other. I don't other. see it. I, don't I see just it. see crooked lines. You got it. You got it. It's almost like you got to look through your eyelashes. I got long, luscious eyes. I have a phone level. Do you want me to get it out? for me, but yeah. okay. I just leveled it. Do you see that? I just leveled it with the thing. So it is par. How does that Wait, make any sense? Even the vertical yeah, ones. Yeah, you need to let me see. No, no, no. Keep going down. I got to make well, sure the second line. I well, think it's just the dots and the way that the dots are located, but the actual lines are. Parallel. Okay, it's starting to give me Whoa. a headache. Well, no. Yeah, here's the too. thing: the diamonds that are black and white, uh -huh. those are all straight lines. So if you look at those, it's making me sick. <laughs> uh oh, are you gonna are you gonna vomit? <laughs> okay. My brain's like they're not straight. For yeah, sure. thank you, Kimmy. That's yeah. That's. <laughs> is that you in the so, bar? So many jokes. <laughs> Okay. Sure. They're not straight. <laughs> I'll turn them. Um, okay. Now, our last conspiracy, this was sent to me by Jared. So, this is, involves Bob Ross. So Icon. Up. Let's just uh, put it out there. Bob Ross is a legend. They're not mistakes. They're happy accidents. This guy with the big afro and whatnot. But I saw a video that kind of uh, shook me to my core. Okay. And they're saying... Because he painted hundreds of pictures. Every video he did or every episode was a different picture. Oh that God. if you take the pictures and you do almost like a flip book with them, what he did is he painted you a map of how to get to where he buried all the bodies that he killed. What? And Bob Ross is <laughs> what? a serial killer. <laughs> what? Most serial killers are highly intelligent individuals. Bob Ross is obviously highly intelligent, so I'm not trying to slander the guy's name. Are you fucking serious right now? I'm not slandering the guy's name. No, yeah. If you look it up, it's uh, there's like videos of the, they're like you're like going through a river, you know what, what? I mean? In his pictures, yeah. Look How up. Why does it have to be the bodies look he up. killed? Bob Ross reveals killing. The Bob Ross theory. We all know Bob Ross is the lovable, curly-haired painter on television. But what if I told you there's a much darker theory surrounding Bob Ross? This theory claims that he's actually a serial killer, and it's all because of this painting right here. This painting is called Happy Little Accidents, Ooh. but the story surrounding this painting is anything but happy. What looks like a typical serene forest landscape actually looks eerily similar to this location. So actually, this is the scary part. I think this what? is different. This is a different video. This is even here. Okay, I gotta look at it real quick. Oh my God. That is this not just some strange Why is Okay, this is evidence B. Wow, wait, that's even fucking scarier. And that's not even the one. Whoa. Dude. Can you imagine he's dead in his grave and you guys are now painting him out to be a serial killer? Painting? No, first, <laughs> first of all, we're just kidding. He's iconic, rest in peace. Second of all, I feel like he would love this because he's all about art and mystery and intrigue. He's probably like, yeah. Dude, Bob Bob Ross was ahead of his time. Right. We're just barely getting it. That's incredible. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Well, speaking of people ahead of their times and possibly murderers, let's get to a recap. Lights, camera, action. Rylan's recap is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Rylan's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the Barbie cast survives a gas leak. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, uh, oh, uh, we learned about Blumpkins. Yup. Woo! In a new sexual terminology that we never knew of. Well, Jared's a sick fuck. He knew about it. <laughs> Blumpkins are all the rage this Halloween. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, we have a big bearded dragon fan. The couch crew discovers their biggest fan, a bearded <laughs> dragon <laughs> who has posters of us plastered all over. That meant a lot. Tank. Their tank. Yeah, that did. That, that meant did. a lot. Yeah, no, 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 it really did. Yeah. Um, Duncan made the worst drink for you ever made. Oh, and the best ever munchies. <laughs> da, 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 da. Dunkin' Donuts will give you a heart attack and wow. serve you ice spice all at once. Fat memories? Uh, in sad news, the boys reveal their favorite fat memories, reliving their traumatic pasts. Oh, uh, we di we discovered that some of us like and some of us don't like Harry Potter. You 
Liar! Woo, in controversial news, some of the boys reveal they aren't fans of Harry Potter. I do. I feel like you had to grow up with it. Video um, Barbies for perverts. <laughs> yeah. Pervert <laughs> alert. Uh, get your creep cam on. Only available on eBay. Barbies with cameras to spy on anything and everything. Yeah. Perv alert. <laughs> um, oh, uh, did we talk about the, um, pe the woman pegging her husband? Oh. <laughs> in exciting news we all learned the best use of a dildo is to stick it right up against your dresser and back it up into it yeah okay <laughs> i got ripped off all my glasses yeah conspiracy yeah. you all are paying way too much for your glasses yeah. because they're all made at the same place and one guy's monopolizing everything we're all cool with Disney adults now. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out Disney adults. Shout out Disney adults. Shane has now become a fan. In your old age, you're turning on a lot of things you previously hated. You're becoming more accepting. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, remember to always get your partner something at the store. Oh. Yes. Yeah. To avoid fights with your significant unreasonable others, <laughs> always get them something at the store to avoid meltdowns that may lead to real fights from something you did to them earlier. And then pro tip, ask the significant other, is there anything you can think of that we need? And then just get them what you know they want. Right. That's the pro tip. Mm -hmm. Don't ask what they want. Right. It's a trick question. Right. Oh, the bump in your mouth, you're weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Icon alert, I am the only one to have a bump in the roof of their mouth, which means I'm way better than all of you. And actually it proved the statistic exactly. 25% of us have it. Also proved something else because you showed us a picture of the roof of your mouth and you know what you didn't have? The dick sucking mark. Work on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, let us know if you give your husband's blumpkins in the comment section below. Have you ever tried it? Be honest. We want your honest reactions in the comment section below. And giveaway alert. Shane is giving away AirPod Pro Max whatever. I will say they have yes. the best noise canceling in the game. So if you do want a, a mesophonia hack, that's right. them. Good idea. Shane's giving those away on the Shane Dawson podcast Instagram. So go over and check that out. Make sure you're following everyone on social media and following this podcast on all audio platforms, liking and subscribing on YouTube and following everyone on social media. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the show. We'll see you right back here in two weeks. Good night. Bye, Barbie. Well, you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed whatever the hell that was. Gas leak edition. I'm so happy that we all survived. All the Kens and the Barbie, we're all going to have ourselves a big old blumpkin after the show. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, Barbie.